Well, let's see. This uh, next story here wasn't uh, as well received. We'll, we'll jump into it. So I'm not sure how interested you are in the whole Predator series, but we had uh, not a PS4 exclusive, but it's console exclusive to PS4. It's Predator Hunting Grounds. It released this week. Uh, some of the reviews I pulled from uh, Metacritic here give kind of an idea on, on the reception. So we have Game Informer, Game Informer gave it a 73. Uh, if you're looking for an authentic Predator experience, this is about as good as it's gotten. And fittingly, it's perhaps best enjoyed the way Predators have infected with humanity. Drop in, enjoy the hunt, and get out while you can. IGN now starts to go downhill a little bit. IGN gives it a 50. The Predator is too often outgunned and has few means of dividing and conquering his prey. There's a consistently enjoyable experience buried somewhere in the janky jungle of Predator hunting grounds, but it's just not that easy to find yet. Destructoid rounds it out here. This game ticks enough boxes. I'm not sure how long the honeymoon period will last for Predator hunting grounds or whether or not some of the initial technical concerns will be addressed on PS4 anytime soon, if ever. But for now, while people are still learning the ins and outs together, the game is an entertainment little thrill ride uh yeah Calum, are you very interested was this on your radar at all uh not really um i was interested to see how it would how it would be uh, received i'm not really into multiplayer games anymore um but yeah i mean it sounds like if the devs stick with it it could be something quite good um just sounds like obviously it's had a bit of a patchy um release but right yeah i mean i think it sounds uh, fairly promising to be honest i think obviously it sounds like it's got a few technical snags but you know we've seen so many games recently you know carry on being supported i mean fallout 76 is one that's oh, yeah. you know come really quite of a success story recently um so you never know i mean if they if Ilphonic stick to it and um iron out any problems people have with it then it sounds like there's obviously something there that's fun and enjoyable so if they can sort of bring that out and extract it then could have a, a decent uh, game on our hands. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. And, and uh, Predator, especially, is an interesting franchise or entity where it's like it seems like it would it would lend itself really well to a game, but. How do you balance that? Because mm -hmm. if you're just the predator, then how do you find a, a foe that's you know that's that's enticing enough? Yeah. But then if you're human, you you just want to be predator. So it's like uh, how do you make that fun? And uh, it's it, it's a hard balance to yeah. strike. Yeah, I remember there was a, a fun Predator game on PS2, which was like a kind of open world. I can't remember what it's called now, mm. uh, but that was pretty cool. I don't know if it was like one of those PS2 games you remember as a kid, and it's actually really yeah. Bad, um, <laughs> when you look at, when you look at it as like an adult that can think, right? But um, but yeah, no, I remember that. I can't remember what it's called now. It's gonna annoy me. It was something like uh, like Forbidden something or something. But no, it, it, it was it was it was a fun game. But yeah, I like Predator. Um, I think it's a cool idea to have like a, a asymmetric. Um, while we play a game with it but um but yeah i mean i i think we're looking at ilphonic sort of past games i think it was always going to be expected that it was going to be a little bit janky. right friday the 13th was uh, definitely janky but uh it seemed to entice yeah. people with the, the fun aspect of it. it seemed like it was fun and that yeah. overweighed the whole technical aspects and this one i feel like it seems like reception wise it's not the fun isn't overlapping the the issues with the technical stuff but no yeah yeah so yeah so hopefully they can um improve the technical side because yeah like i said i mean all these reviews talk about you know something fun in there um so hopefully they can carry on working on it and extract that out and um and you know yeah get something good are you a fan of the predator movies at all uh yeah yeah i i, I love the first two um i've always i mean it was always like when they did like avp that you always like start comparing the two series and i'm a much bigger fan of alien yeah, um, same here. But yeah, no, Predator is good fun. It's, it's like a proper macho, like, fun uh, flick. It's hard to dislike it, really. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, no, it's uh, it, it definitely need like you say, it definitely needs a game. Uh, it definitely would lend itself well to a fun game. But I think, like, a, like the way they did with Alien Isolation, um, I, I couldn't get into Alien Isolation, but I think, like, the idea of, you know, taking these, like, really well-known, uh, like predators no, no pun intended <laughs> and sort of like using that i think like a cool game where you're like trying to escape a predator or you know like trying to you know if you're in like a forest and you're trying to like use your environment to try and get past it like alien isolation right. i think that could be quite cool but um but yeah no i think this this seems like a good idea and hopefully they can uh make it better you know what there is a so i love predator i love alien there is a comic book series where they had alien versus predator versus terminator 
and <laughs> it sounds ridiculous but it's actually super dope and I, there's no way to yeah, i would love a movie or a game I don't, it's such a hard uh, needle to thread like to merge those two those three things rather and have it make sense yeah. but like the comic did a really yeah. cool job of it but it's like it's those are such iconic the movie and and uh just monster you know ideas like to merge those together would be really dope yeah. in a game yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminds me, actually, there was a new Terminator game recently, wasn't there? Like a shooter, yeah. Which I've, I've heard is like, got a pretty, like, good community on it who, who quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it's it. Terminator Resistance. Um, uh, I don't know how I felt watching yeah. the footage. The last game from that dev was that uh, Rambo game. I don't know if you remember saying it was oh, okay. like a notoriously just really bad looking on rail shooter. Yeah. They handled this, yeah. this version of it. I've heard same things where people who play it love it, but um, I'm from yeah. the outside, it doesn't look like it's, it's on par. No, it doesn't look great. But um, I think that's the thing, though. We don't have a lot of um, good first-person shooters. So I think it's quite easy just, I mean, because what I've heard is it just plays quite well. Um, right. And I think that's all you need, really, with a first-person shooter is as long as it plays well and feels nice, it, you'll, you'll have, you know, some degree of fun with it. One day I'll get my Predator versus Alien versus Terminator game, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or a movie or something. It's man, I would love to see them. All. Maybe they'll, all, maybe they'll, all, maybe it'll be like a Smash, uh, Smash Bros. Game. That's that's maybe the only way to make it work. Yeah, because <laughs> you have three juggernauts fighting each other. It's like, how do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> nice, Caleb. Well, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully that game evolves and gets better over time. Predator Hunting Grounds, but yeah, that yeah. was just a release this this week here.